How long have you known me? What? How long have you known me? Don't ask me to do maths. Um, three, two, three years. Great. How much do I smoke? Too much. So today is the day of zero cigarettes. We're on our way to rent a boat. Uh, there's no backup safety cigarettes with Sam. So there's no option, really. Uh, fingers crossed we can do it. Otherwise, this vlog is gonna, you know, I don't want this vlog to go on for years. options when it comes to smoking. Take a shot, I have a bra ten to three. Still no cigarette. is quarter past four with no cigarettes. Hey Emily. Well done. Well done. That being said, I am thinking about it a lot. It's eight o'clock in the evening. That is the entire day without a cigarette. Don't really know why I'm having this one. I don't want you to think in any way, shape or form I'm passing blame or anything like that. <clears throat> when I talk about the marketing aspect of tobacco, but I don't think any smoking journey is complete without the mention of it, uh, for sure. It's a highly addictive substance by nature anyway, uh, which I think I'll talk about tomorrow. Um, but I guess today I want to talk about the human aspect of that. Uh, it's one of the greatest marketed products in history. It's way up there, uh, the American tobacco industry, above Coca-Cola, they're the dons of advertising, but tobacco, whoop off. In the UK, strict restrictions came in in 2016 with regards to like packaging and display and stuff like that. And uh, dog barking's really putting me off. Um, but tobacco companies have found a way. It sells itself, really. Uh, I mean, historically, it was advertised with young people and athletes and stuff like that. But it's unavoidable. There's signs everywhere. Uh, here in Croatia, where I am currently, it's quite an openly advertised thing. I guess my fascination with the marketing aspect is how do you market and advertise something that is essentially selling a slow suicide? in its essence. The way we do it is the advertising goes hand in hand with all our emotions, right? We see it as this way of like stress relief or we see it as like, you know, a group of dear friends sat at a cafe. We see it as a social thing. Uh, we see it as happiness, you know, scenes in cinema where people smoke after sex. Uh, basically every scale of human emotion is appealed to uh, which for me equally shows how all the reasons that I smoke are bollocks 
really. Uh, I don't smoke because I'm happy. I don't smoke because I'm stressed. I smoke because I smoke. It really is that simple. Today's cigarette count is, wait, I'll do it up there. Are you treading, Simon? Enjoy that. Yeah, so from the morning, all day on a boat, uh, literally eight hours solid on the water um, with no cigarettes. Sam didn't even have backup cigarettes today, which he sort of has been doing. He's kind of been my little guardian angel in this thing. Um, and it wasn't too bad. It was, it was fine. Physical stuff, you know, it's fine. I guess I'm in a really hot country, so I was sweating like profusely. A few times, the general anxiety sort of kicked in a bit, maybe a bit short-tempered. I think I'm splitting hairs a bit there, to be honest. Just goes to show that mental thing. I guess the real test is when I'm left to my own devices, right? Um, so like yesterday, for example, it was the moment I was left to my own devices, I went and got some cigarettes when I was with Ellie yesterday, right? Um, so having people around me is kind of easy. And you see that with alcoholism all the time, people trying to stop uh, for their families and, and being under constant watch. And that's not what this should be about. Uh, this should be freeing for me, um, as opposed to burdening for the ones around me. Today's been great. And the cigarette I had earlier was interesting. I viewed it as a almost a reward for not smoking. Done so well not to smoke a day. Why would I go and punish myself with a cigarette?